Hey guys, it is time for another makeover. This time we're tackling my parents' laundry slash pantry slash coat closet, mud room. I'm not exactly sure what you would call this. It's doing many things, you know? So it has their coats, their shoes, it has stuff to clean up the house, obviously washer, dryer. And then on the other side they have this cool like cabinet built-in situation that replaced all of the wire shelving. My brother built it and installed it last year and it's really beautiful, looks awesome, but super duper lacking in organization. So do not worry, we tackle that in this video. We organize every little nook and cranny of this room and I wanted to include the Ikea Pax closet system as a built-in, so get ready for that. And this was my parents' kitchen, which was the last project that we did. Because the mud room is directly off of it, we'll be kind of continuing some of the same style elements to make it all look cohesive. And if you missed this video, I will link it down below for you guys, but uh, let's get started. Our first step was to cover this shiny, shiny green color with something a little bit more neutral so that it wasn't the first thing that stuck out to you when you walked in the room. I got me a good helper, so that's what I need. A cheerleader. Give me an S, give me an A, give me an L O M, give me an O, give me an N. You gotta jump. What's that? You want me to jump? Uh -huh. <laughs> As you see, my uh, parents painted that room. It was really my stepdad painting it. My mom, as you saw, was just cheerleader. But we covered it in Agreeable Gray by Sherwin-Williams. This was just leftover paint from my house, but it worked. We've got cabinetry, cabinetry. Do these have to be painted too? Or are these painted? Well, these are painted, right? Oh, okay. <laughs> Thought someone wrote down there. This is what came out of the pantry, all of this, and all of those shoes over there. Of course, my brother Juan is back on this project, so he made these doors with this little acrylic stuff in the front, and that is to cover the wine area. You guys would have seen in that cabinet system that I told you he previously installed and built. Uh, he also added this part to the top of the cabinets. These are just easy peasy, like right off the shelf cabinets from Menards. I want to say they were about a hundred bucks each. I will have totals for you guys at the end, but they were just securing these to the wall. He added that board on there so that you could, you know, sit it right on top, make sure it was all level and everything. And then he just uh, went ahead and screwed it into the wall. I wanted to give them some more space so that they didn't have to overload the washer and dryer with everything and I knew that even with the backsplash and everything else this was just not going to be that expensive but it was going to be a huge upgrade for them so we went for it. Next it was time to get started on my Ikea Pax wardrobe system. I ended up going with a 29 inch and a 19 inch for my parents house. They had a total of 51 inches to play with. I really wanted a 39 inch but it was just not going to work out. But the doors look best, I feel, on the 39 inch and the 19 inch. But I made it work by using a mirrored door, which you will see later. Now, these are actually really easy to put together. All you need, I use an electric screwdriver, but you don't even need that. And then uh, you just need a hammer or the other end of your electric screwdriver <laughs> when you're in a pinch. I don't recommend doing that, but, you know, do what you got to do. So I have put these together by myself many times. Um, the big ones, the, the smaller ones, whichever. You can do it alone, but if you have a buddy use a buddy it just goes quicker but these are super affordable the only downside right now is that ikea is so out of stock with everything so build your closet and get the pieces as you can get them because girl i stalk the ikea website still because we didn't get every piece we wanted now i thought it was gonna fit and as you see <laughs> didn't we ran into a bit of a problem where these ceilings are 95 inches high and we thought they were 96 and uh, you can't stand up the Ikea packs unless you have 95 inches, 95 and two thirds inches clearance is what you need to stand an Ikea packs up once it's already built. I was overly confident, did not test it and now here we are. The laundry room itself has an almost 96 inch clearance so if we can get them in there, finagle around the lighting and the tight quarters. We can stand it up in there without breaking them back apart, but I do recommend testing it out, or at the very least, measure your freaking ceiling. Cause they're supposed to be 96 inches, but we got 95 out here. We'll see if we make it. 
<laughs> but the thing is, we'll have to tip down to get back in anyway. Yes. Right, so let's see. On the hardwood. Will she make it? She's so close. So oh, she made it. Wait, did she make it? Yes. She made it. <laughs> Sweet. Okay, the feet got to be adjusted because we're wobbling, but that's all right. <laughs> now I got confidence that this one would basically make it. We're so close. It's going to make it. We're going to figure it out. We're not taking it apart. <laughs> as easy as they are to put together, they do not survive being taken apart very well. That's for sure. Nice. Filling in the gaps on the sides and the top. Leaving my parents' house. Back to the big red eye in the sky. Gonna get something, some kind of shelf liner. Gonna get a few of these. See what fits, see what works. I already forgot the dimensions because I forgot to write them down. I had too much faith in my brain. I should have known better than that. <sighs> Definitely should have known better than that. Use these, not these ones, but I use these at my house for my laundry stuff because they're small enough to grab like this. So we're gonna get some of those. A couple of containers, contact paper. Let's hit it. Drawer dividers. These are gonna be crucial once we actually get the drawer. And we're doing a lot of clear dividers in the laundry room because I want them to know what's in there. It's okay if it looks a little messy. I'd rather they know what they have and not overbuy. While we're here, I'm gonna go ahead and restock my parents on a bunch of laundry supplies because I wanna show them how these things are meant to work. So this video is actually not sponsored by OxyClean. But if it was, that would be the exact moment I would have incorporated it. I'm gonna get some pods though. My mom does use pods, but they also use liquid detergent. So I'm gonna make space for both. We're all filled up. I got pretty much anything they could possibly need. I'm heading to check out. <sighs> Next stop, floor and decor for a backsplash. So we're thinking sticking with the subway tile style, but we were gonna do a bigger one maybe like this but now I kind of want to look around and see if how exotic we can get <laughs> I don't want to get too exotic but maybe a little bit I ended up being pretty drawn to these jumbo looking subway tiles so I grabbed two boxes and then headed to Michael's my original idea was to Cricut custom labels for all of my mom's stuff but I realized that was going to take me forever so we're just going to do chalkboard labels instead because they're only two ninety nine for a 12 pack so we're getting a whole bunch Woo! Woo! We got the dryer out. Looking good. Solomon's a sweeping guy, apparently. Yes, he is. I'm learning a lot about my parents here. I didn't know Solomon handled the sweeping, which I hear is bad for your back. Is that why you're doing it like that? Is that like yes. your? Oh, okay. Good to know. You got a bra extender in there. You want that, mother? I'm done. No. Oh, okay. You're done extending. Yeah. I'm done We're done with that. <laughs> we don't need to extend. Yeah. So what's happening right now? Let me give you guys a real time update. We don't have the clearance and height or angled so we were thinking of removing the fridge, the fridge but they're trying to see if we can do it without removing the fridge because the fridge is connected to the water line all that and <clears throat> bagel from Panera crew food uh, tack on $30 to my total for this video it's very tricky because now we gotta get through the door frame as well and it's so tall we only have about a half inch to play with height wise so fingers crossed we get in there the angle ended up being a little too tight so we move the fridge, but just a little bit. Me and my bagel have come in the room to see how is this gonna go. Oh my gosh. You need me? Oh, okay. I'm gonna just sit my bagel down. There you go. Okay. So now. Let me get that. Get it's gonna go up in here. I'm a hundred percent positive. You got this? Right, I'm gonna have to look your way. Alright. Because of the light. Oh my goodness. We're so close to the light. Still touch. Alright, so. Uh! We're so close. Okay, well, that didn't work. No. Didn't. Read the directions next time. <laughs>
so we're gonna trim off. Yes, yeah. just a little piece off the bottom. Yeah, we're trimming just, off just a just piece off the, off the back of the bottom, right? Yeah, just off the back corner. Just off the back corners. We're not, nobody's gonna see it anyway. We're yeah, open. don't pull anything, Solomon. We need your. <laughs> we need. We need you. We really did only need like a quarter of an inch. So Juan just trimmed off the two back corners. And as you'll see, that ended up being the perfect solution to a problem we didn't even realize we had yet. How are we doing, Sarah? I literally I'm showing the live one. Looks good so far. You look good. You look great. You're hitting the light. You're at the light. Yeah, we gotta go this way. O-M-G. Uh, you hit the light, but we're up! <laughs> Woo! Oh! Felipe! We did it. Good job. Did it. Good job. <laughs> oh, actually, you know what? This actually helped. It, it, uh, oh, and it, like, launched out the thing! Yeah. <laughs> Baby! Well, we might as well do it to the other one then, too, huh? Yeah. Damn, oh, look yeah. at that! So Solving a problem one. before it even was one. It clicked for the, for the Wow. Uh, so I'm gonna edit all that out. We actually did that on purpose. I knew it all we did that on purpose. That was what was meant to happen. That made my day. Me and Solomon were stressed about this. We were having nightmares yeah. about oh, it. Oh yes. We were stressed. We were stressed. That's so funny. So we got it in. The next one is not gonna be nearly as dramatic because it's the smaller one, but this is the 29 inch IKEA packs here. And next to it we're putting the 19 inch and we have 21 inches to play with minus the inch and a half of the baseboard and little like um shoe it's called a shoe rick i don't know i feel naked without my lashes guys round two one thing i love about these wardrobes besides the price they're crazy affordable and easily customized to whatever you need them for their depth is great they're like 23 inches deep this one was only 19 inches wide that's why we knew it was gonna very easily clear because you know that was like four inches we didn't have to worry about i know oh look at the what do you think? Wow. That's amazing. Can you see it? Can you see it? Yeah. Look at Patty. Just yeah, give, 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 give that open the door. Oh, seriously, just open the, the door. door. Boom! Huge. Right here. Huge it, makes space. Everything, it makes everything look so big. I know. It's awesome. Uh, I forgot to mention we took the door off. <laughs> that was the real step one. That door was just in the way. Anyway, let's organize. So while we're doing this, I'm kind of taking into account what's inside of this area here because this is their new pantry and they do have food in both and they do have some overlap. The pantry is going to be another video because it's its own entity and as you can see, we need doors, we need framing, we need different stuff over there. So that's going to be its own video and it'll be next probably. I love organizing pantries. It's my favorite. I don't know what happens to flowers and stuff when they expire. Supposedly they're good forever. Is that right? I mean, I don't. Like, well, what I'm, not it's like, it's like I'm not trying to ruin a loaf of bread, though. Oh, and maybe it doesn't. It's, Three it's, or four dollars. It doesn't work as well. Especially the self rising one. To some of you, her shelves might have already looked organized because she had all these matching containers and jars and stuff, but getting the containers is really only step one. I didn't realize how bright our video was. This is what happens when you're your own videographer and you have three cameras to manage. So now that we have all of the jars out, the first step is to be kind of inventory stuff and see what we have and what we don't have. And like I was just telling my mom, we don't need huge containers for small bags of rice. Like if the biggest bag of rice she ever buys is like this, it doesn't need to be in this gigantic mason jar type of container. It can be moved to a smaller container so that it just looks better when it's actually you know, new and full. So step one is gonna be to remove all of these labels from the containers. I forgot my goo gone, so it's gonna be water and a spoon to get them off. So I'm gonna say that like mentally, what you should think of that area is the bulk area. Ooh. So if you're buying just a tiny amount of nuts, we'll create a container for the other area. For the other area. Oh, okay, okay. Because otherwise this is gonna right. always be cluttered. cluttered. This should really right. be like, I have this, I always have it, and it's always, you know, over 15 ounces or something. That's like basically. This is gonna kill me. The alcohol? Yeah. Seriously, I soak it, and then I just use a spoon, mm -hmm. and I scrape it off. I bought Google Home with a scraper, and I forgot to bring it again. That's how we'll look at this, the bulk. Okay. So if it's stuff that you know you're not gonna, like, have all the time, then you let me know, and we will find a different place for it. Let me get this, my dinner out of the way. And you only have one, two, so you have two small round containers. Those are the smallest ones you have. Yeah. Okay. Do you have any more containers? 
Or is this like no, this all is the it. containers you get? This is okay. All the containers. Okay, so yeah, let's start with all the labels. We're lining them all up back there because we want to know what we got and what will work in the big glass jars because the big glass jars will not be getting labels. They just don't really work. Whatever goes in the glass jar, it's obvious what it is. There's no confusion whatsoever. And there's not really an expiration date either. That's not expired. So good. 59 cents for the day. 59 cents, yes. huh? Maybe they do expire. So now that all the labels are off, we've moved on to organizing the glass jars. So again, the, the mason jars are not gonna be able to have labels on them because of the printing on them, and that's totally fine. So they are fully aware that, oh, <laughs> camera down. Fully aware that we have walnuts, we have, I have no idea what these are, pecans maybe? Why can't I think of what these are? Almonds. <laughs> Almonds, some kind of bean, navy bean or something, pinto bean, I don't know what they are, they know what they are. White rice, garbanzo bean, oatmeal, mixed nuts. So these are all gonna go up. No labels, no expirations, no nothing. They eat these on the reg, so we're not worried about them going bad. This stuff is a whole different story though. So time to decant and organize. The jars are meant for things that are being regularly repurchased. If it's just other little specialty rice or this or that or whatever, we're gonna sit it in a tray and the tray will just house the smaller things that don't need a permanent home in their pantry. Or mudroom, or whatever you wanna call that room. As I got started transferring everything out of its package and into the container, my mom did the coordinating labels. These little chalkboard labels were awesome, and the pen was only a few bucks at Michael's. So if she had like multiples of something, like this light brown sugar, she had like three or four of them. I didn't put them all in there. Just save some for your refill days. All right, we are officially ready to put labels on everything. Some of them we just can't seem to get the freaking stuff off, and I didn't want to keep wasting time doing it. So we're gonna try to cover it. If we can't cover it, then we're gonna go ahead and, and spend the time to take it off. And we were trying to decide, do we center it to the container or do we just make them all be in one perfect line when they're lined up? And my mother chose... Perfect line. Perfect line. Yeah. So we're gonna go ahead and slap all these labels on. The only thing with the perfect line is that some of the containers are huge and some are really tiny. But I think visually it looks really cool once you line them all up and all of the labels are in the exact same place regardless of the size. We ended up using a gift card as our guideline and it was easy peasy. Now while we're doing all of this organizing, my brother is framing out those closets so I had no purpose being in the room. So I decided to go ahead and take all the laundry detergent and all that and put it into our new little containers telling you guys I freaking love these containers because you can grab them even if you have a small hand and you're reaching far up on a shelf. Juan has these mounted now. He had to go get some more caulk. There's some boards in there. You see he added a board like so this is the Ikea frame. There's a board and then some caulk to kind of seal it all in together. I think he said he ran out of caulk. It is mounted to the wall. There's another board behind there so that it could have you know be like flush against the wall because we ended up not taking the trim off. Um, he had just notched them all out, as you saw earlier, so it fit perfectly. And the trouble is that the floor, or the walls and the ceilings, everything is so crooked. So you see the little gap up there? As you go down, you see how much bigger that gap is down here. So it's a huge difference. <laughs> and he just keeps encountering that everywhere, so it just kind of slows everything down. Good morning, friends. Today's plan is to get the backsplash here done. Last night, before I left, I told my mom to empty all these out, and she did, and you emptied all these out. Except for the paper towels. Okay, except for paper towels. All right, so these are also emptied, and then that one's emptied. Mom put those doors on yesterday. I can't remember if I showed you guys. So these are actually, um, they're custom, obviously, but these are actually uh, acrylic. But then we're gonna take these out today, and today's just gonna be organized. Organize. Organize, that's not a word. Today we're gonna organize. So it turns out yesterday we got a bunch of snow and our uh, backsplash guy is going to actually be plowing today. So we'll catch him tomorrow instead. Today will not be wasted, the kids have just left. But I got my mom back here. She had a little homework yesterday. She had to remove all of the stuff.
stuff that was in the pantry minus her small appliances. She didn't take those out, but then I told her to go through and take away anything she knew for sure she wasn't gonna wanna keep. This is what needs to be organized, and so this is what we are gonna get started on. Once you've taken everything out, put together like items, decide where you need them, how often you're reaching for them, stuff like that. And then we're gonna put them into containers. If we need to, we might run to Walmart today and see what they have to offer. I'm really interested in checking out the home edit stuff at Walmart. We'll see. And, and then that on. is a bunch of gloves and hats. And so this has a new home already, actually. Yeah, so. Uh, oh, and if it's, it's just this stuff. Yeah, oh, well we don't need that in there. See, I, see I, I, I don't use those at all, Sarah. This is Juan's. Oh. Yeah, if, but if you're never gonna wear these. No, I never. Let's never. not keep them. Never, yeah. never, never. So, are these the ones that you're actually going to and using? Oh. And yeah, this is what we use, yeah. He okay. uses this all the time for his salads when he buys the like the Sam salad. Is there any reason the Tupperware stuff can't be in the kitchen? No. Okay. Now that everything's out, it'll be more manageable because we can see everything and we've gotten to the bottom of all of the buckets to see, oh, I don't need that. I don't like that. I don't need that here. So now we're just kind of rearranging everything and we will soon be taking it back in there what needs to be in there at least. So like two years ago, my brother built that thing that's in the pantry and it was meant to house appliances and stuff like that. So the two tall sides um, have had appliances sitting on them and these are the shelves but my mom had towels on them so she wasn't scratching and damaging the shelf every time she was pulling something in and out that was heavy like a KitchenAid mixer or something like that. The towels are a little unsightly and I don't really love any particular print of anything so instead we're just gonna go ahead and roll a little bit of clear matte contact paper basically so this side is completely matte and this is gonna make it way easier for her to slide things in and out and you won't really notice it. So I'm gonna go ahead and cover a bunch of the shelves with this. This is a really inexpensive way to just kind of, you know, make your, your shelves last a little longer. You can put this on anything really, but in there especially, it needs it because some of the stuff is really heavy and obviously we don't wanna damage things that have been, you know, custom built by Juan himself. <laughs> While this was incredibly easy, it ended up being way more time consuming than I thought because I have so many shelves. So uh, my mom took over for me. <laughs> my parents have an Amazon Alexa and it's very seductive towards Solomon. So we're, uh, we're concerned. It's weird. But I'm not. Solomon said he's not. I get it. He's joy. He takes care of me. We all need friends. This roll of contact paper was like six bucks at Target and it covered every shelf with plenty to spare. So the containers I have are causing me issue. I'm very annoyed with them. They don't fit quite right because it's, again, it was a custom build. It's not like the standard size that you would find of like cube organizers and stuff. So I'm running to Walmart right now because it's nearby. We're gonna see what they have in terms of best gets. Since Walmart was such a bust on containers, I'm going to just kind of use what I have and just deal with it because I don't want anything to slow me down. So I have my shelf here with my contact paper on it. This side is shiny now and this side is, you can't probably tell the difference, but I'm actually just moving these little uh, pushpin things. My brother set it up so that these shelves are adjustable and some of the problem in my, that my mom has in this area is frankly just that the shelving needs to be reworked. It's okay to take a shelf out and <laughs> just not use one so that you have more space because having teeny tiny shelves way up high as you can kind of see there who's that helping not her now we're gonna slide the mixer back in plenty of space now above it that was the problem there just wasn't space one issue my mom usually runs across is that she likes to keep the uh, pamphlets and stuff that come with the various machines which I totally get I have this exact same one that's why she has it and I told her that I just keep mine inside of whatever it is because I'm never gonna accidentally cook my instruction booklet. It's like all the extra mixer parts. Pretty much stay in the mixer, I would say, outside of the ones that don't fit. And this is how I've stored mine from the beginning of time, basically. So I don't have a ton. My mom has a couple of extras, so those are gonna go into a bin because what we're doing is the stuff that has extras, they're going into their own little container. So this is like Instapot stuff, Veggie Bullet stuff. These will be labeled. And then the Veggie Bullet and the Instapot and all that will be out here. But all their little fix-ins will be tucked away for when she needs them. Oh, this looks really good. Dang. I kind of wish I had a mirror in mine. What do you think? Wow, this is bad. Like it? Bad, I mean... Beautiful. Yeah, no, we get it. <laughs> wow. Is this what you thought it was gonna be? No. Oh, Is good. It better? Yeah, good. 
It's better. Ooh, baby! But now that you got a full length mirror, more, you know, the pressure's yeah, on. I fit. The pressure. <laughs> <laughs> no. You want to go sideways? <laughs> it's only 10 inches. I fit. <laughs> oh, wait, she does fit because I fit. Well, that's not bad. We have just enough space for everyone to fit. IKEA has notoriously good mirrors because I have spent seriously almost $1,000 on mirrors from Crate and Barrel. Wonky, warped, horrible from World Market. Circus mirror from World Market. I've had that happen twice now. CB2, Circus mirror. Ikea has some good mirrors and they are not expensive at all. Highly recommend. Speaking of Ikea, I physically went into one of the stores to see if I could maybe find the pullout shelves that were missing, but no such luck. Their online inventory is spot on and they are out of stock, period. So we did get the glass shelf, thankfully, and the clothing rod was in stock. I yanked a piece out of one of my 19 inches, but I don't have any 29 inch ones, so I had nothing I could supply from my own personal stash. The clothing rod, a shelf, and a drawer. This will be for all of their cold weather stuff. Waiting on these two things to come back in stock at Ikea. Most likely this video will be finished without it, but it is what it is. And then Juan's gonna just whip up some shelves because those are also out of stock. And, oh, I'll show you that when there's a thing in there. Solomon loves it. Already missed his reaction. Too busy, multitasking. Mama. Awesome, We're right? Right there. We I don't, know. We don't have any hold on oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. We need a little yeah. cold yeah. Okay. <laughs> Yep. Sick. Wrapping up for this day. The backsplash is completely done. Oh my gosh, the shelves are done. I dig it, I dig it, I dig it. So the door on this room was actually a big issue because it would open and go in. It would cover that left side of the room and it would just create clutter and mess behind it. So I decided that we would do a barn door instead. I wanted to make it as modern looking as possible. So Juan did the entire framing for the door. He did a new trim and then he added that big piece on top. And I ordered the wrong size door. So that was my bad. I just made it harder on him. <laughs> And with the door being hung, I got to move on to my favorite part, which was cleaning up the space again, just because of all the, all the guys working in there and stylize it a little bit. So this second shelf is pretty high. I just threw a little plant up there. I thought that was super cute. The stuff that they're actually gonna use in the washer and dryer on a regular basis is gonna be on the shelf that they can see and easily reach without opening a door. And then we labeled them on the top just so that you know it could stay nice and clean looking over there. And we adjusted the shelves to fit all of their bulk items. Moving out to the closet, I knew they had a lot of jackets before. I told them they would probably both be good with keeping four downstairs and they minimized that down to three and then they didn't get rid of all their other jackets. They just put them in one of the many other closets in their house. Everything doesn't need to go in the tiniest room. So they did a great job with that. I just got them a set of hangers so that everything was cohesive. It, it's just like the little differences that really, you know, make something look more organized. And then for the drawer, the divider I bought was way too small. I was not paying attention right now this is going to be wintry things in the winter it'll go up into the storage bin above the jackets which is not in the video <laughs> um but then their summary things will come down their hats etc stuff like that and then you definitely want a small spaces deodorizer something scented because when you keep shoes behind closed doors they're more likely to kind of retain any odors and then potentially make the closet stink so it's a really easy fix. I also bought them some fabric spray just in case they need a refresh at any point. And you'll see there on the right side, the pullout drawer. So I wanna put two of those on the left, but they have been out of stock forever. So we're just waiting on that. But at least you get the gist of it. The drawer pulls out. It's very convenient for shoe storage. And then on top, I'm just using that as like a little utility closet for them just to keep their brooms and a mop or two, a Swiffer and like a step stool. It might, you know, get some hooks added at some point to hold those things up. But for now, it's functional, it works, and it gets rid of the visual clutter that they had before.
Oh, and on my last video, I had a lot of comments about my parents keeping their potatoes in the fridge. So they sent me this clip and they said they just wanted to let you guys know that uh, they found a new place for them. Thanks. Well, my best part is this. I love this. That's good. And I don't know though. I, well, I love this. I love the look of it. I also love that I don't see any of the jackets. Here. The closet. Yes. Did you see it? We put the stuff in. This is my baby. Holy cow. Yeah. Those will eventually be shoe shelves, but you know, for now. Wow. No, this is bad. Yeah. <laughs> You're looking like a Hollywood. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> This has been a while, you know, that we put it together. Yeah. But this little piece over here. Oh, that's the one. This is. I had to see it filled with tomatoes. Well, I'm taking everything out of the packages. <laughs> <laughs> we love it. Yeah. We love it. Oh, and then no one said the door, but the door is awesome oh, too. The door is awesome. Oh, no. <laughs> the best part of the door that I like, I like the hardware. Yeah. Like, yeah. Right? It looks nice. Yes. Oh, muscle. Yeah. I don't want. I don't want. <laughs> How easy would that be for the kids to drop it? Because there's no way Solomon. Oh, okay. nice. Okay. Okay. It's good enough. Because you know. Yeah, I know. We'll see about that. <laughs> That's all from me this week, guys. I hope that you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up or leave me a comment and let me know. If you have any suggestions on how to make these videos better, I'm definitely all ears. It's still only my second one, so I hope you enjoyed it. I will be purchasing a gimbal to stabilize my videos a little bit, so hopefully that'll be incorporated soon. But next, we're doing the pantry with a full organization going on with uh, the Home Edits products from Walmart. So if you're interested in that, stick around for sure. And then we'll be doing a decluttering project upstairs it's a huge project it was very overwhelming for my mom and so I have a lot of tips and tricks on how to declutter, declutter overwhelming spaces definitely stick around if you're interested in that links to everything will be in the description box see you later